guys <laughs> welcome back all right today i am absolutely shattered i am feeling all kinds of levels of being burnt out like really really burnt out i just don't even know i don't know, i actually don't even know i've got so many things to do now that i'm at the point where i just don't know what to do because i have so many things to do like i'm still trying to pack um, I'm still trying to pack up and it's just been a, a complete nightmare because we basically have stuff from absolutely years ago that were the children's when they were more like much younger and the stuff is in boxes and so like I'm opening up boxes that have been sealed shut for like eight years can you imagine so I'm finding all kinds of things but I'm just completely over overwhelmed by it but it has to be done it has to be sorted out I'm feeling absolutely burnt out because not only having to like pack up the stuff that I have here, um, I'm, I'm still trying to arrange to actually move upstairs. There's that and I'm still doing like tons of work as well because life goes on. You have to work to make a living, right? So um, it's a lot. So I'm just really, really burnt out. But the good thing is yesterday um, I got to go to this YouTube Creator Awards thingy and... Um, I went with Vanessa and Nabuki and we actually had a really good time. Um, I didn't realize how much I actually needed to leave this house because I had been in the house just doing work stuff like packing up and literally just doing work for I don't know how long like, I haven't I haven't done anything fun in so long and so it was a last minute thing that we decided to go and I'm so so glad that I did because I really needed the fresh air I mean and don't tell anyone but Nabuki yeah she's absolutely crazy even Vanessa too they're both like crazy I was like the normal one amongst all of them but yeah so it was just really nice to get out of the house for a bit and we got back really late I think I got home like around one just just chit chatting like yeah so I'm just like I think I need to try and get out of the house more. I have tunnel vision when it comes to these things. So I'm one of these people like, if I put my focus on something, that is going to be my focus and I try not to look at anything else. So right now, because I'm focused on cleaning up and trying to move upstairs, my focus has been that. And so I haven't had time for anything else. So I've not had time to go out or do anything else because my focus is there. And I feel like until I get that out of my system, I'm not gonna be able to function and do anything else because I feel like, I'm somehow cheating myself if that makes sense and that's not a good thing tunnel vision can be good at times but sometimes it's not good because it means that your focus is nowhere else so like I said I hadn't I hadn't been out seen anybody in a very long time because um, I've just been busy doing this but I'm absolutely burnt out like I go to bed so late and I don't wake up that early but I'd say I wake I probably only get about maybe six or seven hours sleep a night which is not the best but I'm just completely drained. I really am completely drained. Even to be honest with you, I wasn't even going to do a video today because I'm that tired. I am exhausted. Like you can see my face. I don't even have like a drop of makeup on. Um, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. Burnt out. What do people do when they're burnt out? You just go out? Because even though I went out yesterday, I still feel tired today. Or maybe it's because I, I came back so late. I don't know. But I normally go to bed about one anyway. I don't know, I'm just feeling exhausted. What do you do for burnout? Seriously, I don't know. Um, I just came back from the shop. I literally just went around the corner and I got some of this. My children love this and can you believe I've never tasted it before? This is what we call a chipipi. It's an airway food. I don't know if you've ever tasted it before. Um, if I'm correct in saying this, a chipipi, it's the achi part of the word is like, means like stick. Correct me if I'm wrong. It means like stick, yeah? So this is called achi pipi, I guess because it's like a stick. I've never tasted this. I'm going to taste this for the first time ever. Okay. I can see why my children eat it. It kind of reminds me a bit of um, a chomo, a little bit. But it's not as sweet. 
yeah it's definitely not sweet it's a little bit harder it doesn't have the like cakey bit in the middle of like how a chomo has it but it's all right i guess this is something that you would eat like if you just fancy something you could just pick up one of these and eat so um i think these are like these are like, i think it's three for a, one city or something like that so i think we bought like 10 cities or something crazy like that we bought like 10 cities worth so i have them all here inside this lovely white bag this will probably last about two days and one of my sons loves this coconut thing now i don't i never know what this thing is called perhaps you guys can help me out this it's like coconutty with sugar and something i can't remember i've had it when i was younger but i can't remember i haven't had it for a very long time so we have that and then we also got this Inkatia cake. Inkatia cake is just like, it's like peanuts and it's it's like got sugar and stuff in it and they make it, it hard and it's like, it's like a cake. It's called Inkatia cake. I don't know. Anyway, let me just show you this again because I feel like I didn't show it on camera properly the first time. So, focus. Focus. Oh, come on. There we go. That's it. I don't know. I might try some of this later, but... I won't try it now because my son specifically asked for that. So we only bought one. So he wants that. So he was even asking me for it. I was like, no, I want to show it on camera first. So I'm going to go do that. But yeah, um, I don't know. <sighs> so much to do, so little time. So, so little time. <sighs> As you can see, even the way I'm behaving on camera, you can tell that I'm completely tired, completely burnt out. And I have work waiting for me inside that needs to be done today so i need to do that i think what i'll do is get maybe have a cup of my herbal tea that might help pick me up and just kind of go from there i don't know i don't know do you ever have phases like this where you feel burnt out i don't know is it burnt out am i burnt out or am i just really tired i'm not sure i don't feel like i want to sleep i don't know Perhaps my iron levels are, could be just low. Could be. Something like that. Anyway. But hey ho. Anyway, let me give them this stuff before they all start screaming that I'm holding on to it. Holding the thing ransom. Oh yeah, I'll catch you a bit. In a bit. Guys, right, so I'm back in the corner of my kitchen. And I've broken a little bit of the coconut thing that I was talking about in the car. That's this. So I'm going to try it. I haven't tried this for many years. So... Yeah, it's coconut, definitely. Coconut with sugar. It's not overly sweet though. It looks sweeter than what you think it's going to be. It's not that sweet. Yeah, I think it's just coconut with sugar, I think. It's alright. It's probably not something that I would say, oh, let me go and buy that. But I think it was, if it was there, I'd probably eat it. I'm sorry for talking my mouth full. But yeah, if it was there, I'd probably have some. But I wouldn't buy one to have. I wouldn't go out of my way to go and buy it. It's neither here nor there for me, I don't know. But it's okay. Um. Just look at this photo that I found while I was packing up my stuff. Um, I think I've shared this picture before. But don't you think it's so funny and that my parents have written my name onto the photo as if I'm going to be confused with someone else. Like, oh, we're not sure if this one's going to be a Adela. So let's write her name on it just in case. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. do you know what i struggle i struggle with smiling so you know when i did this picture in school right i had to try not to smile too like over smile because i don't know how to smile without smiling too much so when i smile like i have a, a, like a really big smile so if someone says smile go and so like in this picture it was just too much if i recall correctly i think the, the photographer actually told me to take my smile down a bit because it was too much so then i had to try and do this it's <laughs> hilarious i can't help it i have a big smile and i don't know how else to smile that's just how i smile so yeah this is my dull down smile <laughs> you know what? i actually came up here because i thought the children were downstairs and 
and I thought, you know what, let me just come up here and just sort of like tail off my video. And I came up here and everybody has decided to follow me. And I can't get a minute's peace. I've done this video now probably about three or four times because I keep getting interruptions. I'm going to show you that right